Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Shannon. Thank you so much for stopping by. Um, so I haven't recorded since I think Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday morning. Um, I have been very sick. I think I had a cold, um, then some female things and like the cold came back. I got, I started to feel better for a day and then my husband woke up with a sore throat and then it's like the next day I had it back and it has been not fun. Um, so I was sick last Saturday, today's Saturday, so it's been seven days and earlier I seriously took a three hour nap. So I apologize for not filming as much this week, but I do feel like I'm getting back to being able to film more, uh, film more, jeez. Um, my tongue even hurts, like that's how sick I was, like my whole mouth, like just, yeah, it was not fun. So I was like, it hurts to talk, it hurts to swallow, I couldn't breathe. But, with that being said, I'm back and I'm going to try to do the best to make this an okay video. Probably not my best work. But, I did get this beauty in the mail on Wednesday. Um, it was supposed to come Thursday, but I got it a day early. And I was really excited to get this box, but I literally haven't worn makeup in like four days. So, maybe even five. So, I played around with this a little bit. Um, I figured out how to use the Cover FX straps. I know I've seen a lot of reviews on this box where people were like, oh, it's too glittery. If you put it on right, it does actually look very stunning. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over the items really quick, and then I will do a very, very, very quick eyeshadow look for you guys and let you know what I think about this box. Um, I am not affiliated with BoxyCharm in any way, shape, or form. I've been subscribed to them for like a year now, maybe, maybe more. Uh, maybe a year. Okay, so I've been, from the first box I got, I was blown away by the fact that you can get this for $21, including shipping. Um, actually, I think it might be like a dollar more. I don't know, but it's, yeah, it's $21. Comes out of your bank every month, and you get four to five, sometimes six, uh, full-size beauty and skincare products. Um, this month, there's a brand in here that I really love. So let's get right into it. I don't want to show you the back of the box because it has my address on it. Um, I did, however, like some of the items in this box so far. Um, I wrote the box total on my little card so I wouldn't forget. It came to $109.89. Um, and this month it is the Gold Digger. Um... So our first item that we got is the Cover FX Glitter Drops in the shade Nova. I really was hoping that there would be like a variety of shades that people got, but I'm pretty sure everybody got Nova. Um, this retails for $44, and it is gorgeous. And I dropped mine. But that's okay, because I got it. <laughs> um, this is what the packaging looks like. Basic Cover FX box. Um... And this shade is actually a little gold for my liking. I would have preferred like the purpley one a little bit just because I wear a lot of black and cool tones. Um, but nonetheless, let me just show you guys a little quick sample. It comes with a little eyedropper. A little tiny, tiny, tiny bit goes a very long way. So we're going to do one drop. And then you want to take a wet beauty sponge. Mine's not wet yet because I need to wash it to do the look we're going to do. And you want to... Use your beauty blender, and you can e actually like make this. You when you use this, you want to drag. You're not just blotting. You want to drag in, like move it around, and look at how pretty that looks. I don't know if you guys are getting the full effect, um, but I will show you like a thicker swatch if you guys want to see that. So I just put a little line, and then. You actually can wear these on top of eyeshadow, too. It's really pretty, but like I said, I would have preferred the more cool tone shade, because I know they have one. But this must be a shade that really wasn't that popular, because I'm sure they have, like, certain brands have a contract with BoxyCharm to, like, get their items cheaper. So at least the brand can sell stuff that would more or less sit on a shelf and then expire. 
So this is probably just one of the more, one of the shades that people didn't pick up as much as the other ones. Um, nonetheless, I never wanted to buy one because of the price. And because you can get kind of a very similar product in... Oh my god, there's like four four different companies that make products like this. I will do some research and put all that description, put all that stuff in the description box. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. I didn't want to buy one because it was $44, and I think you can get a similar product for like $20. Um, our next item is the Ace Beauté Grandiose Palette. I almost picked this up from their website when the um, Paradise Collection came out. It comes in a little sleeve like this. It does retail for $24.99. Um, it has four shimmer shades, four bold mattes, and it has everything you need to create unlimited eye looks. These eyeshadows were carefully milled and pressed to deliver intense pigment and easy blending. So I will. Let's get some MAC Prep and Prime on my arm, and that'll dry by the time we're done talking about the other products, so I can swatch it for you really quick. I did play around with it a little bit. Um, I used it to do a one shade look for my office work party the other day. Our next item is the Luxie Luminous Eye Set. This retails for $21 and this packaging is gorgeous. These are for like more detailed eye looks but I try to do a detailed eye look with it and they're meh. Just meh. Meh. I, I, I wouldn't buy these, actually. I love Luxie brushes. I mean, I've got I've got Luxie brushes sitting right here that I use every day for my face. Um, yeah, I mean, I do love their brand, but these were kind of a miss for me. Um, you've got, like, a blending brush, a tiny pencil brush, a contoured angle brush, and, like, a thinner or th a, a wider contoured angle brush. Um, okay, $21, it says Luxie 141 Mini Round Brush, Luxie 121 Mini Tapered, Luxie 111 Mini Flat Angled Brush, and the 131 Mini Angled. So then my issue is, okay, wait, they are, they are labeled. I did not see that before. 141 is the Mini Round Brush. And then the 121 is the mini tapered. It's so hard to see. It, like, the words, like, totally blend in with the packaging. So that's how I didn't know. This is probably the one I'll use the most if I use these. Um, 111 is the mini flat angled, which is this one. And then this is the 131 mini angled. They're both mini angled. Oh, the one's mini flat, one's mini angled. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, and the next item is from Jante Blue Glitter Glittering Star Eyeliner. This retails for five dollars. My mouth hurts still. This is what it looks like. Um, the packaging is very pretty. And I will watch that thing for you right there I just I don't really like the ones that are like a real pencil it is very glittery and that's not because there's cover FF, FX on my hand um, I will try this out today in our look and then we got the Lashaholic lashes that retail for $14.99 and what I can promise you guys is I'm going to go to Ulta tomorrow and pick up some lash glue and I'm gonna try these suckers out when I film my Tuesday video, which will be the James Charles Morphe collaboration. Um, so I will, ha I will try some lashes in that video. Hopefully I don't screw it up too bad. So that is everything. Um, my box was number three. I don't know the very, I know that one of them came with the tweezers instead of the eyeliner. And then another variation was the brush cleaner instead of the lashes. I would have preferred the brush cleaner over the lashes. And that brings me to our final point. If you did not get the brush cleaner, but you were interested in something that is very similar, I know you can pick this up. Mine is empty. I need more. You can pick up the Ulta Beauty Brush and Sponge Cleaner Non-Drying and Conditioning 
spot cleaner. This was like $3 at Ulta and it lasted me about a month. So if you want something and you didn't get it, I will sometimes try to find you guys a similar product at an affordable price. This box is affordable. This is something you could easily grab if you needed that item and didn't get it at an affordable rate. So with that being said, um, I, how many times have I said that this video? If you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up and let's get right into the look. Alright guys, so I just realized that I said let's get into the look before I did the swatches. So I do have the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus on my arm and we are going to start on the top row and do the four and then the bottom four. Okay, so our first color is Jasmine, Clove, and Myrtle. Jasmine, Clove, and Myrtle. Okay, so let's get some swatchy roonies done. There's the first three. And then we have cinnamon, patchouli, and rose. So, cinnamon, patchouli, what? Patchouli, oh, patchouli is like that skin shade. <laughs> I was like, where'd it go? And rose. And then we have Poppy, which is my girl Elizabeth's baby girl's name, and Primrose. Poppy. Whose name? And Primrose. Elizabeth's daughter. Elizabeth's daughter. So there are the swatches of the Ace Beauté Grandiose palette, and I cannot wait to use it. So with that being said, now let's get right into the look. Thanks guys. Alright guys, so this video is clearly going to be a little bit different. So I did the intro and the swatches and then I started to do the video for the eyeshadow look. And usually those clips that I do, I just do this eye and then I go off camera and do my face makeup and this other eye I finish up. But while I do the look, I do speed up the footage or I either put a song in the background or I've done one voiceover. So I did that. I started filming the look and then I went a little too bold for my liking and I was like, you know what? I don't like it. And this that was the first time I used this palette. So I learned a little bit from that and I was like, you know what? I haven't ruined this eye yet. So let's just wipe one off and start over. So I wanted to make sure I played around with it a little bit. Um, I did say in my intro I was going to do a very quick, blended out, smoked out eyeshadow look. And then I also wanted to make sure, because then usually I stop the footage and I do my face makeup, I wanted to make sure that I had my foundation and everything on so I can show you guys how to use the Cover FX straps that we got. So um, I did kind of do like a lighter face application tonight. I used my stick foundation by Maybelline Fit Me instead of my Fenty Beauty because I wanted to do something lightweight. Um, my skin kind of took a beating this past week while I was sick. So I figured, you know what, let's just do like light makeup, especially because it's kind of getting late and I'll be going to bed soon. And I'm starting to feel my cold coming on and I got to take some cold medicine before bed. So let's do this eye together and then uh, I will show you guys the cover FX straps. Oh my god, I don't want to be sick anymore. I did start with the Urban Decay Primer Potion and then I took my Sigma Large Fluff E50 and I used the shade Patchouli. I'm just going to zoom you guys in. Patchouli on this brush just to set my primer. I tend to stamp my setting shade onto my primer. Um, yeah, before I had like the the dark brown and the red mixed, and I did like a cut crease. 
And then it was really weird, like the red oxidized darker, like right over the brown. And it just kind of looked like not the best. So this is actually how this eye turned out. I just used two of the shades and then one for a highlight, so three of the shades. And just kind of smoked it out and did like a shimmery look. Another thing, these brushes suck. I'm, I hate to be that brutally honest and harsh. Um, I tried to blend out the red with this one, the fatter one or whatever, the one that I said I would probably use. And it's just like so flimsy that I'm like, and it like kept going down here. Um, I ended up using this one to do the bottom and then this one to do the highlight. So, yeah. Alright, so we are going to start out with my um, Morphe, oh god, this is the one that the numbers are rubbed off. It's like the 441 or something like that. It's the white bristle one. And we're going to just dip into the shade Cinnamon right here. And then the other shade we use is Primrose. Right there, and jasmine up top. So I'm just going to do this real quick and show you guys how it works. Um, I did find that the white bristle brush does work a little bit better with these shades. Um, it blends them out very nicely, and you can build them up very well. Um, so we're just taking this, and we're doing the windshield wiper motions just to kind of pop that into the crease. And since I have face makeup on, I'm going not, usually you guys know I go all up over in here. And then I use a wipey to get that line. But I'm going to try to keep that a little bit more controlled. Like, look at how nicely that blends out. And it just moves right over with your brush. Like, you don't really have to pull too much. Um, my fingers are at the tip of my brush, so you know I'm going very light. And it does build up gorgeously. <sighs> I am so sorry for being sick, you guys. Like, seriously, I try. I just, like, tried to, like, make myself sound normal to start filming again. And my husband's like, you need to just go to bed, girl. And I was like, yeah, well, I took a three-hour nap earlier. So I'm trying to get something done. Because tomorrow is, dun-dun-dun, skincare Sundays. All right. So we, are, we just want to get this nice and just blend it out as much as we can. Um, this look actually is so easy. I love it. Okay, and I wanted to kind of make that line right there with my brush instead this time. So I'm going to use my Morphe M433 and a little bit more of that brown and just pack it in. This one's just a little bit shorter than the other one. And it helps to really define that line. Once you've blended it out with the bigger brush, you always kind of want to go in with something smaller just to actually build up the more concentrated area, I guess you could say. Okay, and then we are going to take the shade Primrose and my finger because uh, the wet brush didn't work that well. And since this is not a cut crease, we're kind of just going to use Mother Nature and the oils from her finger and a little bit of pressure just to work that in like you would if you're an artist working with finger paints. And I didn't really, I wasn't really too neat about where I placed it on the other eye. But I did still want that brown. See I might need a little bit, add a little bit more to this side. Just go up a little bit higher to my arch. Which is fine, which is how I wanted it anyways. And then I'm going to take my more dense blending brush. This is the Sigma Tapered Blending E35. I'm going to clean that up on my color switch. And I blend away to get that shimmer off of the mat. Oh, these blend so nice. I am a fan of this palette. I don't know if I'm a fan of the brushes though. I mean obviously I said they suck. But the palette's pretty good. I need to play with the palette a little bit more before I can say if I would have spent money 
like the whole 20 whatever four dollars it was I mean it's really hard for me to say that I would spend like I paid $21 for this box but I got more than one thing so it's really hard to decide if I want to say that I would buy it because I do like it I really do like the color story and I like how the shadows perform but I'm so not feeling good. This sucks. I really wanted to film like so many videos. And I will. Alright. So I got my little line. The other one looks a little bit different. But apparently that's just how I am. Okay. Now I'm going to take my brush that I used for the underneath. And I'm going to pick up um, a little bit of the cinnamon color. I'm going to put that a little bit lower than the lashes. Um, I did try the Jante Blue um, eyeliner. It's not the best, I'm going to say. I'll be right back, guys. Hold on. Okay, so we're back. <laughs> um, okay, so what we were doing, I did the bottom with the cinnamon kind of got smudged away um yeah so I don't even my daughter woke up and needed mommy so before she started screaming on the camera I figured I would just go help her first I feel like I look so pale in the viewfinder tonight I put bronzer on I don't know what's going on I mean, I guess it's just the light because on this end, I feel like it looks pretty normal. Okay. We were talking about the eyeliner, the Jante, Jante Blue. Jante Blue! Um, this is the Glittering Star Eyeliner. The lids on the eyeliners that come in Boxy Charms, is it just me or are they always loose? Like. See? You gotta like really shove them on there. Like once you put it back on, you really gotta like push. It's, I don't know. There's been a couple of them like that. Oh wait, actually I think it's that brand. This is the other, the other one I was talking about. The Jante Blue. Like unless you like really push it down, they just fall right off. Crazy because that's the same brand. Um, sorry, my, I had to go eat my cannoli <laughs> before my daughter got to all of it. She's like, Mommy, I'm going to eat your other half. I was like, oh, no. Okay, so you know I can't get the lid off. <sighs> this eyeliner does not work on your waterline. Um, unless you, like, go back to the 90s and get a lighter and light it, it's, like, not there. I tried it on the other eye, but let's just try it here. Um, yeah, no, I like mine a little bit darker than that. So what I did... Because I still wanted to use this, I went along the lower lash line right where we just put cinnamon. And I just put a little bit of the black eyeliner. Because you can see the glitter in it if you're up close. I don't know if you can see it in the camera. But I... Do I have lipstick on my teeth? No? No? Okay. That's what I did. Um, you can see the glitter when you just kind of put a light I'll zoom in in a minute but I just kind of went very tight along my lash line and then I also took the brush and I smoked it out a little bit smudgy 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 and got a little bit more of the cinnamon shade and just kind of right over that um, it's been a while since I've worn like smoked out black eyeliner under my eye I used to do it all the time. My favorite to do it with is the Kat Von D Basket Case um, Anti-Precision Eyeliner. Alright, so that looks pretty smoky smoky. So that eyeliner really does seem like it's five dollars. So I'm just saying. Okay. Let me make sure everything is blended in well. I am obsessed with this new Real Techniques brush, and since we didn't 
we still need to put a little bit of bronzer down because I did move when I did I removed some of my face makeup with the wipe I'm just gonna use my elf sun-kissed bronzer really quick and just kind of get some in there a little bit better a little bit a little bit okay all right, so I'm going to take my Real, Tex Real Techniques brush and a little bit of that bronzer and just kind of blend everything together. Oh, the lippy that I'm wearing. Oh, my God, you guys. I love this lippy, but I really need to get used to this formula a little bit more. It is the Unveiled by Kat Von... Er, you know why I said that? Because... These have names like BDSM stuff, like handcuffed and uncuffed and whatever, unveil. <laughs> to unveil is to remove the veil, and people use that during the BDSM stuff. And then the fetish palette was just out. This is the unveiled um, Stunna Lip Paint by Fenty Beauty. I really do love this shade on me, but I don't love the applicator and the formula tends to bleed a little bit on me so I have to like I think I need to just like wear it more often so I can get used to it a little bit better it's a great color though I really do like it it remind it goes well with the shade and dystopian in the new um Sultry palette? I just had mine. It's gone. Who took it? Yeah, this goes very well with Dystopian, which is this shade right here. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm trying to show you guys. It's very similar. Oh, wait, here we go. Zoom you in. <laughs> oh, so now you can see the eyes a little bit closer. Um, we have to still put the shade Jasmine on the top for and the inner highlight, inner corner highlight. So we're just gonna pop that in there like so. Poppity poppity. And we're gonna just do a little of this, a little bit of that. I need to go to bed. <laughs> Taking a three hour nap and waking up at like seven o'clock at night and then doing dinner and all that, it really makes your evening seem like it's flying by. Okay, I'm just gonna blend bend that. I'm gonna blend that out a little bit better. I feel like these colors do get a little bit deeper once they are on your lids, like they oxidize a little bit. There's nothing wrong with that. Just remember if you're using a dark shade, you you want to make sure you do like a little test on your arm or something to see if it oxidizes when you swatch it. Because that way you can see if... We're almost done, guys, I promise. Where did my mascara go? I literally just had it. Okay. I'm going to put this on and then the Marc Jacobs eyeliner and we'll do the color cover FX. So I'm going to give you guys my final thoughts while I finish my makeup because I would like to announce the giveaway the Thanksgiving Thanksgiving I really need to go to bed Thanksgiving giveaway it will start tonight if I get this uploaded this might not go up until tomorrow but it will end on Thanksgiving and on Black Friday we will have our winners and I don't know if I want to do two winners because I kind of want to save the other giveaway for next time but I have some really cool brush sets that I would like to give away so I think I'm gonna just do one for now since it's only a week long giveaway oh my god I'm supposed to be telling you guys my final thoughts on this box so this box I saw some people I put reviews up and it said the best box ever I don't agree with that at all sorry my dishwasher is running 
because moms have to take a break to do dishes in the middle of their filming. Okay. We've got my little Morphe sponge and it is wet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Cover FX drops and I am going to make sure there's a little bit in the tube, not too, too much. So we've got our little dropper and then all I'm going to do is take a little bit and put a little line. Okay, yeah, no, mm -mm, that was too much. But that's okay. And then you take your beauty blender and you want to take the fat end and stamp it in. And make sure you're tugging as you go. Now that is freaking gorgeous like holy mother of god with a little dab up there too because you guys know i like to bling it okay that's i see you cover fx you got me blinging like a stunner over here that is so pretty you guys oh my god i love these where have these been all my life and I didn't want to pay $44 for this. Let's do the other side. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Oh my god, you guys. I look like a freaking fairy. I love that. I seriously think I put more on that side. Oh, maybe I just need to like blend it out a little bit more. Oh, I love this. Okay, so I saw somebody set theirs. I don't know if I really want to do that. I kind of like it. Let's see. You guys see that? You see that glitter? Hold on. I'm dying. <laughs> Look at that though. Oh my god. I love these. I seriously can't wait until the summertime. You guys see that? Oh my god. I don't mind showing you guys up close on my face, so you can see how bling that is. Okay, now some people don't like, oh my god, don't look at my nose. Some people don't like very glittery stuff, but I, oh my god, you guys, this is so perfect for Christmas and New Year's, and I really, really, really wish I had the purple shade, so maybe I have to buy it now. Or, I can just start wearing a lot of brown makeup this winter to go with the gold. Now, I do want to see what one side looks like with setting it, because I do think that my new MAC um, Light Scapade, I think this would be a perfect shade to set this with. So, I'm going to grab my Morphe Bling Fling Blush Brush. I, I just don't use highlighter brushes for highlight, I guess. I'm going to just get a little bit of that. Woo. God, it's like a fairy just farted in my face. Okay. Let's see, I think that ruined it. I really do. But we can still use our regular highlighter for our other focal points. Yeah, I think I like it without setting it. Yep, definitely do not like setting it. I don't know if you can actually tell, but this side looks very dewy. And in the wintertime, I dry out like a cactus. I mean, not usually my skin because I have oily skin. But I like the dewy look. Like, that just looks so much better than that, I think. So don't set your cover effects drops. If I buy the purple ones... 
which I'm probably going to actually right now. <laughs> uh, my mom actually paid half of my rent because my birthday is in like two weeks. So, I mean, she only paid half of it. But I definitely now can buy myself a birthday gift. And get caught up on my other bills. Yay, adulting. So, um, this is our final look. I do still have some of Marc Jacobs eyeliner. Did I lose it? Oh, Shan. Nope. Okay, so. I am going to do a giveaway. Called our Thanksgiving giveaway. And... All you have to do to enter is subscribe to my channel and comment down below something that you are thankful for or, you know, say gobble gobble, happy Thanksgiving. Um, and then you can even go over to my Instagram and check out the details. There will be pictures. Um, I am also going to allow people on Instagram to enter just in case there is um, people who are not on my channel but they're on Instagram. But with that being said, you can only enter one time. So if you're going to enter here, you do not have to go over to Instagram and enter. If you enter on Instagram, you do not have to come here to enter. I am going to write down everybody's name once, and then I am going to put their names on a wheel and spin the wheel live. So that's how you will enter. This will be drawn on Black Friday once I wake up from shopping all night. Um, so our winner will receive the SL Miss Glam Macaroon... Um, six piece brush set these retailed for like $72 but I did get them from the ipsy shopper site um, if you're an ipsy person you can go and shop a lot of really good deals so I did get them for below retail cost but I also have a set of these um, here's one of them they're like all over here's another one one of them is on the floor because my daughter was playing with it. Here's the Kabuki. And the eyeshadow brush is actually a really good one. I know I'm missing two more. Oh, okay. My yellow one is... Or actually, no, the blue one. And then my yellow one, which is this big fluffy one right here is on the ground but it's one of my favorite favorite blending brushes it is very similar to the sigma large powder f20 um yeah they're like almost identical actually now i really have to get mine out because now i want to know if they are very similar okay so here is the miss glam one they're really cute they have these little diamonds on them and here is the sigma one and you can see, let me put these other brushes down. You can see they're so similar. I would say the Sigma one is a little bit fatter. But, I mean, you really, wow. Like, yeah, those are perfect. And I know Sigma is very expensive. And they actually feel pretty much the same. So, that is the six-piece brush set that our winner will receive. I will ship it on the following Monday after Black Friday. May the odds be ever in your favor. I probably look like a big dork doing that. But anyways, this was my simple, blended out, smoky, quick Thanksgiving themed because it's all brown eyeshadow look. And I did think that this boxy was good. Um, I like the palette and I love, oh my god, the cover up box just spilled because I forgot that, dude, go to sleep, Shannon. I did not forget. I forgot to shut that. Yeah, We just got some glitter now everywhere. It was only a drop, thank God. Because I need those to like last until next time I want to pay that. Oh, I'm going to go buy some right now. Who's kidding me? Oh, God, look how pretty my arm looks now. It's like glitter. Glitter. I love glitter. Okay, so that wraps it up. Um, I don't think this was my favorite box from BoxyCharm. 
But I am excited to try the lashes, and I'm supposed to receive my Morphe James Charles palette on Tuesday. So I'm going to film a video doing that, and I'm going to try to put those lashes on. And if you guys enjoyed this look, then give it a thumbs up at the bottom, and... Leave a comment, tell me what you thought. If you hated this box or loved this box, let me know. I will link my BoxyCharm referral link down below. I'm not affiliated with them. It doesn't like do anything except give you like $5 or something and me $5 or I don't know what it does. So, yeah. Thanks for watching and I'm sorry I sound so sick. I will see you guys next time. Um, yeah, tomorrow is going to be Skincare Sunday, so that'll be fun. Thank you so much, guys. Have a great night.